What is going on there guys, Sticks10 here, and today we are taking a look at Gyarados in the Master League. Wanted to show it as an option if you guys are trying to climb the ranks and have a cheap budget option for your team that is not legendary, but has a lot of good options in this league. Now right here, we get a Togekiss lead, which my team does have a little bit of a problem with. Uh, we're gonna go for the Surf here to try to bait out that shield. We're gonna try to go for one more Surf. Um, at this point, I, don't know, I shouldn't have shielded that. I don't know what I'm thinking. Like it wouldn't have done enough and I think I probably could have still got to a Surf. Uh, so we are going to sacrifice basically our Rhyperior. And so I bring in my Dialga. I think Dragon Breasts are going to be enough here. Um, I, I, once again, okay, that I should have shielded. Fine. I shouldn't have shielded that first one. That was a mistake on my part. Even if it, if my Rhyperior went down, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. There you go. You can see we finally get rid of that Togekiss. And we're going to hit a uh, Draco Meteor here against that. And we swap into our Gyarados. And they actually swap into Giratina. So this is fine for us. Uh, this Dragon, uh, this is going to do quite a bit here. And going to get to one more, hopefully. Dragon Breath is doing a lot to that Giratina. Shadow Ball, you can see, almost takes out my uh, Gyarados. And we do take it out just barely. And we're going to hit our crunch right away. Try to get some damage off against this. Um, and you can see not very effective, but we get a little bit. It's at half health now. And then uh, we're going to get KO'd here. So GG is definitely a mistake there on my part. My team is a little weak to a Togekiss lead um, right here. But we're going to go into the next one. GG's trainer on that one against a Vegeta. Vegito. And here we go. Uh, so we get a Giratina lead, uh, which isn't like super bad for us. It's not super great either. Uh, we're gonna allow, I think, the first one to go through. Now we're gonna shield. Uh, let's see if they, yep, they baited us with Ominous Wind. And I switch out into my Gyarados here. I'm gonna let this one go through. And it is just an Ominous Wind. So that's good for us. They switch into Metagross. So let's go with those crunches. Uh, these crunches are going to be super effective. So we are going to uh, do quite a bit of damage. And they actually shield that. And then at this point, do I shield? Do I shield? I do shield. There's Meteor Mash. Um, would be resisted, but still would do a ton of damage to my Gyarados. And I want to get that other shield. We were close enough to that crunch. There it is. We get the second shield. We're both down two shields now. Um, and Metagross going to knock me out here. And we're going to bring in our Rhyperior again. And uh, actually go for the Rock Wrecker. And not very effective. But enough to get it pretty low. And then let's see if they're going to bring out their Garantina again. And we swap into our Dalga, and you can see we're just going to town there with those Dragon Breaths. Um, I need to get my Dialga to Best Buddy, and it would be doing quite a bit more. And they actually switch into an opposing Dialga. And then at this point, I want to get to Draco Meteor, and this is going to do a ton of damage. Just watch this thing. Boom. And that's, I, that's why I'm running Draco Meteor. I think sometimes I should be running uh, Thunder on it instead. But and then there's those times where I'm facing... Uh, Dialga or a um, another one or uh, you know, opposing Dialga or Giratina and I want that Draco Meteor to just KO and so um, that's why I don't know you could go either way I know a lot of people are running uh, Thunder and some people are running Draco Meteor so what do y'all think on that leave a comment down below what you guys are running on your Dialga I just want to see uh, from y'all's perspective what you guys think is better um, so here we're in a pretty good position. I'm going to shield this. Iron Head does do a lot uh, to Rhyperior. And I think, oh, they actually switch into, um, into a Swampert. So let's see. Uh, they don't shield. And I'm actually going to swap into my Dalga. 
and then uh, is it hydro cannon or is it earthquake? Was it enough turns to actually be, it was just hydro cannon. Uh, I didn't need a shield there, so that was kind of a waste. I wasn't counting my moves very well and we're down two shields uh, to theirs. They bring out Darkrai. Luckily, uh, we, our, our team's okay against Darkrai, so we're not in a bad position at all there. So, um, and we hit the Iron Head and then my goal is just to hit the Iron Head, try to get the shields as much as I can. There's a, there were even shields now and I'm up a Pokemon. So uh, this Dark Pulse will do quite a bit if that's what it is, or it might be a Focus Blast. Let's see, it is Focus Blast, so that's gonna KO. And then I'm gonna bring out uh, Gyarados, which is going to do quite a bit of work, but not quite fast enough to get it before it can do a Dark Pulse to me. So there's half my health gone. And then Dialga comes out and we're gonna hit the crunch here. Is it gonna be enough to KO? Let's see. Uh, not quite. Um, and we actually switch <laughs> into that and then our uh, Rhyperior finishes it off with those mud slaps doing a ton of damage there. Um, so let's go into the next one. Uh, here we go. We are still in rank eight, guys. I've kind of been uh, meandering about rank eight. Uh, just go up and down, up and down, staying kind of around 2300 is where I've been staying a little bit below that, about halfway. Actually, I was almost to 2400 the other day, and then I went like one and four in a set and that like dropped me a ton and then you know three and two gains a little bit two and three drops you to some and it's just like crazy uh trying to move up so i'm trying to find a team that works for me consistently enough to where i can go three and two or four and one every time and and uh, move up the ranks but it, it is very uh there's not a whole lot of pokemon to use in the in the master league and i think that's an issue uh, so Gyarados comes in against this and you can see Gyarados here doesn't have a lot of great options because I don't have Hydro Pump on it. So a Hydro Pump would definitely be better here. It'd also be better in the Togekiss uh, matchup to have something to hit Togekiss with that is uh, at least neutral damage. Um, so that is two uh, bad things with my Gyarados here um, because it's running Dragon Breath, Outrage, and Crunch. Uh, it does have a lot of good matchups though as well so something to consider if you are going to run gyarados you can see flamethrower just enough to ko we're going to bring out rapierior and then i don't care what it's going to throw at me but it didn't have enough mewtwo comes back out this is probably going to be enough to ko Dialga is still in the back Psystrike does ko my rapierior and then you can see Dialga just going to go to town here with dragon breasts i used my last shield uh, against the Psystrike. um and then we're just going to KO there with Dragon Breath against that. So let's go into the next one. Let's see, still running the same team, Rhyperior lead. Uh, I'm not sure how much I like Rhyperior in the lead. It does have some good matchups like Dialga and those if they're leading with that, but here's another Togekiss. Let's see if I can play this one a little bit better than the first one. Um, definitely, uh, da uh, this is, this is one I'm struggling with with this team right now, and I think it would be better if I had Dialga with Thunderbolt on it because uh, then I would have an option here um, to KO. Um, but I think at this point, um, there's the Flamethrower. Um, Dialga should be able to KO with just Iron Head, uh, but they're probably going to double shield. Yeah, there's the shield on Togekiss. Obviously, they know at this point I don't have a solid counter to uh, Togekiss. So I'm going to let this faint. No, it doesn't quite faint. Uh, dang. Man, this is this is bad. Uh, and that's the thing. I just don't think I like this team against because of Togekiss, and it is pretty prevalent. I hit Rock Wrecker because uh, I do want to KO that thing. And we finally get rid of it, but it took down almost two of my mons to do so. And so I bring in Gyarados. Let's see what they've got. Okay, this isn't bad. Uh, Metagross, not gonna be terrible here. Uh, the Crunch is gonna be super effective. And I've got one shield remaining. Um, so do I use it here or do I use it in the next matchup? I use it here. Uh, Meteor Mash just hits really, really hard. I'm gonna try to overcharge a little bit. 
I don't want them to get to another Meteor Mash, though. That would have been bad. Uh, so we do KO that Metagross, and then it's a race kind of um, right here. This is, oh, it's an ominous wind. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm actually in a pretty good position then. I think I can get to another one before they can KO me. So there's the crunch and I think that might be, no, I don't think it's gonna be enough. Oh, it's so close. Uh, we're gonna get KO'd here and then I'm gonna throw back out my Rhyperior. I believe that is still alive and just barely hang on with a sliver of HP. So we do go four and one in that set, uh, not half bad. Um, and we gain some points thankfully um so we are kind of meandering around and here's our reward build them so not a uh, terrible reward um and then there you go you can see we gained some experience back and as always guys i want to thank my patreon supporter if you guys haven't already check that link in the description down below like subscribe comment uh, hopefully you guys are doing well staying safe and as always guys keep on battling